Hello drummers and other reprobates, it's me Joe again and I'm back with another video about the table of time. Today I'm going to show you an exercise based around counting the table of time and playing grooves in quarters, eighths, triplets and sixteenths. Look at the other videos I made about the subject to make sure that you know how to count this stuff properly. Each one of those subdivisions I'm going to apply to playing on the hi-hat, we're going to play the bass on one and three and the snare on two and four on each pattern. We're going to play each one of the four grooves with the metronome I've set the metronome at 70 BPM. Uh, it should be okay for most of you. The 16th will determine how fast your metronome can be. If it feels a little bit fast, just turn it down. You can do this at 60 just as well. And anybody who thinks that they've already got this stuff sorted, you can play it at 50. Here are the quarters. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four, 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 ah. Practice doing that and make sure that your counting and your playing line up really, really well with the metronome. Next, I'm going to play the eighth notes. Remember that the numbers I'm counting are going to be precisely lined up with the click, or as precisely as I can make them, and the ands of the eighth notes fall in between. Sounds like this. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one, two. And Next, the triplet groove. In real life, this is known as like a 12 8 or, or a 6 8 maybe, but um, you wouldn't really want to count it that way. So we're going to refer to it as triplets, and I feel that's like more applicable to the way we really play it. Two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a. I hope you're counting. Two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. Finally, the sixteenths. The bass is still going to be on the one and three and the snare on two and four. The click's going to be on 70. Remember to count and make sure that the numbers line up perfectly with the click. Here we go. Two, three, four. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. And a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two. Next, we're going to play one bar of each of those subdivisions without stopping. So we're going to play a bar of quarters, a bar of eights, a bar of triplets, and a bar of sixteenths. With the click, bass on one and three, snare on two and four, 70 beats per minute. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two. Three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. Two and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two. Next, we're going to play half a bar with each subdivision. 
The base on one and three, the snare on two and four, and the click is still at 70 BPM. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four, and one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three and four, and one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three and four, and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two, three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two, three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two, three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two, three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Two. Three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a R. Very nice. Now when you're practicing these exercises, make, make sure you sit with them for a good long time and make sure that you have really settled with the click. Record yourselves, why don't you, and, and listen back because sometimes you may think you're playing pretty accurately and uh, a recording will tell you very honestly if you are or not. Next, we're going to play one subdivision per beat. So we're going to play a quarter note's worth of quarters, quarter note's worth of eighths, quarter note's worth of triplets, and a quarter note's worth of sixteenths. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and a four, e, and a one. Two, and three, and a four, e, and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a one. Two and three and a forty and a ooh. Okay, feeling good. The last thing we're going to do with this is we're going to mix up the subdivisions now. If you've worked and you've got yourself used to playing those four different timings, the quarters, eights, triplets and sixteenths, and then feeling nice and accurate, now you're going to stick your click on again and you're going to improvise playing whichever one of those you feel like doing and mixing them all up. One, two, three, four. One, two and three and four and a one and two and a three and four e and a one. Two e and a three and four and a one e and a two e and a three and a four and two and three and four and a one e and a two and a three e and a four and one. Two, three and four and a one and two and a three e and a four e and a one. Two and three and a four and a one e and a three and a four e and a one and two and three and a four and one e and a three and four e and a one and two and three and a four one two e and a three and a four one two and three e and a four e and a one e and a two and a three and four e and a done. There you go. Table of time played as grooves. Learn to really relax with the metronome and uh, test yourself. You know, see if you could learn how to play this at 50 BPM or even 40 BPM. The slower you can play these exercises, the more solid your groove is going to be. As always, thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, especially the comments would be interesting to me because I'd love to hear about any topics you'd like me to cover or any feedback you have uh, for good or ill, God help me, uh, about these uh, videos and whether you found them helpful or not. Tune in next time for more of this good stuff. In the meantime, go away and practice.